Today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Joachim and Anne, parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Lord, God of our fathers, who bestowed on Saint Joachim and Anne this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son. Grant through the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Return, rebellious children, says the Lord, for I am your master. I will take you, one from a city, two from a clan, and bring you to Zion. I will appoint over you shepherds after my own heart, who will shepherd you wisely and prudently. When you multiply and become fruitful in the land, says the Lord, they will in those days no longer say, the ark of the covenant of the Lord. They will no longer think of it or remember it or miss it or make another. At that time, they will call Jerusalem the Lord's throne. There, all nations will be gathered together to honor the name of the Lord at Jerusalem, and they will walk no longer in their hard-hearted wickedness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, all nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd, his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine and the oil, the sheep and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel.
Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. The Lord be with you. And with yours. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it. And the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy, but he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the world, and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There are things in life that are beyond our understanding. We cannot understand why God allowed good people to suffer? Or why did they allow all these calamities, senseless killings, a friend to suffer and die from cancer? Why did God allow evil to triumph and allow the good to suffer? Is God listening to our prayers? Or He simply does not care? So many questions that linger in our mind that brings a silent rebellion or doubt against God simply because we cannot understand the logic of God's ways. Our daily experience is part of our complex parable of life. If our life is one complex parable, we cannot understand it by simply using our human understanding. It will bring frustration in us. Most of us are lost in finding an answer to our questions. In our gospel, Jesus tells us again another parable. And so, <clears throat> some of his disciples would ask him, why would you talk to us about parables? Why would Jesus talk to us about parables? Why not simply talk to them and simply they will follow? And so the response of Jesus to his disciples was that, the reason why he was talking to them about parables is that they were looking without seeing and listening without hearing or understanding. They look and look but never perceive. Their heart has grown coarse and their ears dull. And they have shut their eyes to avoid using them to see, their ears to hear, their hearts to understand. And in the end, they fail to change their ways and be healed by God. This answer was quite straight and honest. God's silence in our litany of questions is his answer to us. 
He has the answer to all our questions. But we are not really listening. We are simply not open to His will. We don't really seek His answer. And yet, we tend to complain or question His ways. There's the rub. The challenge of our gospel is to be more humble and be open to God's ways. We always have this tendency to impose to God what we want. And when we fail to get them, we tend to simply disregard the divine reason for everything. We're being called to be more open to His will to beg the Holy Spirit to give us the grace of humility and the lens of faith to understand the parables of life. The message of all the things happening to us is not beyond grub. It's in our hearts. Be humble. Don't resist. Listen to God's voice and not to your resentment, frustrations, and selfish desire. And you will understand everything. Remember, learn to read between the lines. God is always there. Amen. Let us pray the prayers of the faithful. With the prayers of Saint Joachim and Anne, let us ask the Lord to build us home like theirs, where the Blessed Virgin Mary felt warmth and love of family life. We pray, Lord, let every generation praise you. Lord, let every generation praise you. That we may rejoice at your salvation that many prophets and righteous people long to see and hear. We pray. Lord, Lord let every, every generation, generation praise you. That we may cherish the memory of godly men and women in the scriptures and imitate their virtues, we pray. Lord, let Lord. every generation praise you. That we may cherish the home of Saints Joachim and Anne where Mary was surrounded by their faith and love, and where she learned to listen to the Lord and to follow His will, we pray. Lord, Lord let, let every, every generation, generation praise you. That we may cherish the role of grandparents in family life in transmitting the experience and wisdom of their lives, we pray. Lord, Lord. let every generation praise you that the elderly may wait for the call of the Lord from life to a fuller life with the happiness of the old man, Simeon, who had seen the salvation of the Lord, we pray. Lord, Lord. let every generation praise you. Lord God, you prepared the Virgin Mary to become the mother of your son, even while in the, to in the womb of Saint Anne. Through the intercession of Saints Joachim and Anne, make our homes a haven of peace and love. Amen. Amen. Blessed are the Lord, God of creation, for true goodness have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of creation, for true goodness have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, these offerings of our homage and grant that we may merit a share in the same blessing which you promised to Abraham and his descendants. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with the strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewful so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, they took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Patricia, Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Joachim and Anne, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come. Thy will be done, thy earth will be done on earth heaven. as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day, this day our daily bread, and, bread, and, forgive, and us forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, as those, we who forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not, and lead us into, temptation, not into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to her apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, the of, the sins world, of the mercy. world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. O God, who will that your only begotten Son should be born from among humanity, so that by a wonderful mystery, humanity might be born again from you. We pray that in your kindness, you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those you have fed with the bread you give your children. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace. Amen. Thanks be to God. Oh, no.